Hi Libra, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is your love reading for May 2018 for Libra Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. If they don't, you can always check your other signs to get more of a picture, or you can request a personal reading from me. All of the links are below. You can do it through Instant Go or directly through PayPal, or you can just go to my website and book through there, whichever works best for you. Okay, so I'm going to pull... Um, a card from the Romance Angels Oracle deck just to give you an oversight or an overview of what may be happening in your love lives this month. And please do remember that, you know, this this reading, if you don't have someone in your life right now, it's very well that this could be about a family member or a friend. Okay. So the card that fell out here is forgiving and learning as you release and heal the pa heal the past you experience more love in your present moments although somebody's asking for forgiveness and this other person is kind of like uh i'll think about it so that that might be you know something happening for you in your life i don't know do you see that I feel like someone's begging for forgiveness. Maybe that's you and the other person is just indifferent to it or is not sure. There's angels or heads flying about. This is something like this is a past family members or certain people in your life where there was difficulty. Let me read from the um, book and see if there's more clarity. So the, this card, the angels have heard your desire for great love and they bring you this card as guidance. They see that your heart can give and receive the bliss of romance by clearing away the cobwebs of the past. The angels know you've been hurt before and that you're weary of being hurt again, yet your defenses are creating barriers to allowing love in your life. So as you heal your past, you won't keep recreating it. After all, you attract into your life the situations and relationships that remind you of what you've already experienced because that is a primary tool to healing. I want to just say something real quick about that. A lot of people will say, well, how come I always re attract these same types of people? And some of you are attracting these same types of people, but some of you are also attracting good people whatever you have been accustomed to in uh, relationships in your past it's not that you it's not like these people can just automatically they have a radar and they automatically know especially if you're not if someone you just meet they couldn't possibly know what you've been through the difference is that you recognize this person at some point as not being healthy for you and yet you're, it's not that you're attracting them, it's that you're not letting them go. And that's really what the difference is. See, sometimes you tend to let go of people who do treat you well or do have a different set of um, uh, beliefs. And if it's not familiar to you, you won't probably stay with that. You tend, most people, not all, but most people tend to stick with what they're familiar with. So if you were raised by the devil, you will stick with devil type relationships, not because you want them, but because it's, you know how to, you know how to function in them better than in healthy relationships. And that's for some of you. So it's really important at the same time to acknowledge that yes, you may attract certain people, but how much of that is you holding on to those relationships as well. To change to a healthier relationship pattern, it's necessary to detoxify any old anger, blame, or unforgiveness you may be holding. And this includes forgiving yourself. So I feel like it's kind of um, a double-edged sword to some degree. I don't feel like you're completely at fault, but I feel like if you begin to recognize these patterns and see that there's certain people that you hold on to for certain reasons um, that may help you to understand why certain relationships have been continuing on a particular way because if your relationship was 100 percent healthy and, and going well you certainly wouldn't be listening to a tarot card reading about troubles in a romance right 
um, there's definitely stuff going on that um, I just feel like Libra and May you'll need to address about forgiving and learning. So your past situation, you have the Ten of Cups here. So for some of you, this could have to deal with a family relationship, which is what the Ten of Cups is all about. Um, the Ten of Cups is about marriage with children, family reunions, having a loving and supportive family where everyone, a very healthy, non-toxic family, okay? This could have, well, this position, this card is in the position of the past. So I want to clarify to see why this, you know, what the significance is this for you that you need to know. Maybe you, maybe you, some of you were in a very healthy, happy relationship. But there was a lack of communication and truth. Or maybe you perceived this to be a very healthy, happy relationship. But with the Ace of Swords in the reverse, I don't feel like, I feel like there was a lot of stress or some mental blocks or some dishonesty within this relationship either from your part or for some or from the other person whoever it could be spouse partner relationship family member friend whichever it was okay um which brings you into the seven of pentacles so i feel like in may you're actually assessing now this relationship you're you're looking you'll be looking to see how much you've put in and did you get back what you invested? I feel like you've really put your effort in into a relationship with someone. You were patient. You worked very hard. But every it was always like delays as far as you getting back what you felt that you needed. And this definitely has to do with a partnership or a decision about a partnership because the two of wands is here. And... I feel like that it's this has been kind of a struggle for you. I really feel like Libra, you put your all into a relationship or a, a partnership of some sort with another person, and you're in May, you know, you're questioning now or you're looking back now and saying, you know, did I really get back everything that I? Not that you were doing it to get back, you know, but. It sure would be nice for you to get back or someone to mirror all the effort that you've put in to a partnership with them. And so you're questioning this now. And you're with the two of wands, you know, it's kind of a challenge for you to make a decision about what to do about this connection with someone. You know, that that's a card of also waiting for results. Okay, so, and the seven of pentacles, same thing. There's delayed success, waiting for results, okay, and having to make a decision about this. Now, what's driving you is the empress. So, I always say with the empress card, there could be some pregnancy involved as well for some of you. Uh, maybe you want to get, maybe some of you want to become pregnant again or for the first time and you're not sure if the other person is you know on board or is with you on this or some of you may have found out about a pregnancy in the past but there was dishonesty about this and now there's waiting to find out waiting for results to find out if, or, or there's a suspicion of pregnancy and waiting to find out if you are or if another person is. But the Empress is also someone who is a good parent and she's abundant. Even if you're not a parent, you could be a great aunt or a great uncle, you know. Um, but this person is very, you know, I always like to look at the Empress, I think of Mother Nature. <laughs> she takes care of all the animals and the planet, and she's very, you know, environmentally, um, you know, enthused 
she she drinks the cleanest water she only eats vegetables she's maybe she's a vegan you know she's very earthy not like not like domesticated in the sense of you know like say the virgo but some of you might be on the cusp of virgo libra but she's you know she's just a caretaker she's just about beauty and health and vitality her skin's always so clear or or she does she take she she takes steps to make sure that her hair is healthy her skin's healthy she eats well you know she's very much the motherly figure and i feel like for you that's really a place that you like to see yourself in and that drives you to maintain being the best that to be being your best self but you've got the queen of swords here in the reverse so there's also like this part of you and i'm just going to you know call what i see there's a part of you that has been a bit cold or maybe dishonest with someone or lacking compassion as of late or feeling a bit rigid in your thinking it could have something to do with um, a particular relationship or a family relationship you know there could be this closed off energy from you and then you're trying to get yourself back to being that empress but something's got you if it's not you being cold and dishonest someone has been that way with you and it's caused you to you know now start to make a decision about a particular situation you've also got two people showing up here so you have the king of pentacles and then you have the king of swords coming up in your near future so the king of pentacles who is an earth sign capricorn libra i'm sorry capricorn virgo or taurus um you know this man comes across man or man or woman as very resourceful fertile if it's a female, very domesticated, solid, practical, has a bit of money, can be very stable. And this is someone that you have on your mind, who you're thinking about. Um, someone who either this person you're hoping to come back into your life and you're hoping for forgiveness with this person. For some of you, this could be uh, a decision between two people. Okay. Or um, some of you, not sure who the father is of your baby. Or not sure who the father is of someone else's baby. And having to, you know, waiting for those results to find out. And that's like a completely different read. And if you, if that resonates for you and you need some clarity on that, I would just go ahead and request a personal reading from me. But lots of messages come out in the general. But I feel like there's either you're hoping for forgiveness from this person or they're hoping for it from you. But the Five of Cups, when it's in the reverse, is about moving on having hope return and a recovery type of energy now i want to see what's going on with this king of swords because so for some of you this could be someone new coming in or someone you've been dealing with this person's very powerful intentional they're quick acting in their thoughts uh le they have leadership ability they're logical self-sufficient and they're very truthful now this could also be you I'd say if you're a male, um, displaying those characteristics towards the end of May, um, or this is someone coming in for you females who is um, also displaying those characteristics. This person, I feel whoever it is that they are coming in is indifferent to any type of love offers from you so i don't know how that relates to you in your situation if any of this resonates um or this person is not wanting this person could actually um send you 
send you like an unexpected gift of some sort um, that you may not be wanting to receive or may not acknowledge or vice versa. They're coming in and, you know, I just feel like anything that's being offered to them, they're just not interested. So why are they showing up? Um, that's a good question. This person may have been significant in your life in the past and they're re reappearing. Um, you may be seeking forgiveness from that person and they're not having it. Whereas the King of Pentacles person is willing to forgive. And that's for those of you who've, you know, got two people going on in, in your life right now. So air sign and water sign. Um... This could be someone that this King of Swords could be someone you're attached to through your family. Um, this could have something to do with inheritance or money that's owed. Um, I'm feeling there could be rivalry between a partner and a, and a father or a father-in-law interest something like that or there's rivalry between two brothers issues with two brothers about money uh, one one the king of pentacles more understanding but the king of swords not so much it's just indifferent the king of sword basically wants the money he doesn't want to make the reconnection he's not willing to forgive is what i feel and you, you know, you may be offering to this person to, you know, offering your cup to them. And they're like, no, they're a bit stingy. They just have this energy of like, you know, they're very cold and they're a bit manipulative and strategic. So I'm not sure. It's really difficult sometimes. I want to say I'm not sure, but it's difficult sometimes when two, two kings or two queens show up in the reading because then there's just so many different stories. So you'll have to just sort of figure that out for yourself but I know one thing is that I feel like this king of pentacles uh, the description that I gave you whether it's an earth sign or not that person you're wanting forgiveness from from them and I feel like they're willing to accept that or they're wanting forgiveness from you and I feel like you're willing to accept that but this king of swords n not so much they're all about I feel like they're all about the money your advice here, you've got the Knight of Pentacles. So your advice is to really take it slow um, with anything that you try to offer to anyone or anything coming in for you to just kind of like fall back a little bit. Um, your advice is to stay as reliable as possible, to be patient. <clears throat> You may need to take a trip. You may need to take like a you may need to travel um, by car or on a train. I'm not seeing a plane or a boat. I'm seeing more like land travel. Huh. King of Swords in the reverse now. So don't become bitter about anyone who isn't accepting your love or not forgiving you for something. Um But you may need to try to also understand that this King of Swords person, and I don't feel like it's you, this King of Swords person is seriously a con man or woman. This person is corrupt and they're abusive. And, you know, you, you may not see that right away because they're so tricky this person could be conning you out of money or if, you know if there's pregnancy they could be saying they're not going to pay or you know they're not going to help you you know or if there's someone who you someone you were partnered with gets someone else pregnant um the energy could be that you know this person's really like they're conning you 
and they're corrupt. And if it's nothing to do with pregnancy, or if you just have two choices about two different people for in whatever realm it could be, whether there was um, a third party situation or whether there was um, two, just two separate people in your life, this King of Swords is not, is not even capable of accepting love from anyone. This person is just very cold. And you're seeing them as basically just being, you know, their basic selves, just someone who's powerful, you know, that kind of stuff. But in reality, I think the advice is for you to realize that that's not who they are, really. Deep down, they're, they're pretty corrupt. Um, so whomever the person is that you are wanting the most healing from or you are wanting any kind of like reconciliation with or you're wanting to have truth and you know have the happy family type of a situation i feel that it's the king of pentacles who this position is talking about because they have the strength card this person's got more power in their little pinky than this king of swords does in their entire body and i feel like see your king of pentacles even though he's in the reverse i feel like this this king of pentacles person wants you to be strong he d he or she does not want you to view him as being stubborn or jealous or someone who doesn't follow through with things he doesn't want you to think that he's greedy or envious or that he's you know uh, financially dependent on you because I feel like he he feels that you think this way about him and he's not that way he's actually very strong in his character he's actually I feel very positive about his energy I feel like this person, you know, has very good health and they're, they're the type of person who can take control of situations. They have self-love and they have confidence and it, it comes from internally. They're not someone who's going to um, harm you and that may be where there's forgiveness being sought. Maybe the king of pentacles towards you or you towards them. I just don't trust this king of swords if this person returns to your life or you try to find a way to uh, make peace with this person or they try to make peace with you. I don't feel like it's altruistic. So in your hopes and fears, you have the hermit. And so some of you could be, again, as I said, dealing with Virgo. Um, but this hermit is someone who goes within for clarity and has like this quest for personal truth. And I feel like you're hoping that the truth will be revealed to you um, without really having to dig too deep to find it. You're looking for clarity. You're looking for truth. You, maybe whatever your past family situation was, whatever conflicts had happened there, you want truth about them because you've put in so much. And you also deserve to have an apology and you also deserve to have effort being made into you. So you may be trying to figure out which one is better for you if it's two people that you are involved with. And I feel like your King of Pentacles is better for you. Um, your outcome is the Ace of Wands and the Knight of Cups. So there's definitely a new beginning that's going to happen here for you. Uh, either a new romance, a new project or a job, new inspiration, a feeling of creating a new love. And with the Knight of Cups, there's some type of um, like an offer or a romantic love or proposal um, or just a healing, love, loving gesture coming towards you at the end of the month. So I feel like it definitely has something to do with this King of Pentacles here because the strength card I pulled and that's directly 
correlating with the position of the other person. This person I do feel feels very strongly for you and cares very much for you. <laughs> and you have the Knight of Cups again. So there's a lot of love offers coming in and a lot of healing, I feel, towards the end of the month. What, however this resonates for you, I know there's a couple of different messages. Just try to um, zero in on the one that you know gave you tingles or you zoomed in on when you heard it because there are two different people so i'm not sure how this is playing out like i said it could be family members it could be a family member and a spouse it could be brothers sisters um, it could be two different lovers um, it could be a past lover coming back trying to infiltrate your your relationship um, you are definitely needing to make a decision but I think you really need to take it slow with this King of Swords because I'm not feeling he's, I'm not really, I'm getting the sense that you're not feeling this person is overly trustworthy either. And you have to pay attention to your intuition about that, Libra. Okay, so I'm going to end your reading here. If this was too confusing, which I'm sure some of you will comment, sometimes the readings get that way and other times they just are very smooth and they flow nicely. So course you can always listen to other readers um, or check your weekly or check your other signs and if you're really needing a reading you know how to contact me for a description box below all right guys so talk to you soon have a beautiful may okay bye